We have a point P, and it moves such that its distance from one point is the same as its distance from another. Okay, its distance from one point is the same as its distance from another. I'm going to give you a really simple example so that you don't get lost in the algebra. I'm going to pick two points such that it is equidistant from the origin because that gives you nice neat numbers. And let's go with how about this guy? Okay. Now you might be able to start to see this in your mind and I'm going to encourage you to do that. But more than just seeing what you think it should be, I want to use what I know from coordinate geometry and algebra to show that it is the case. Okay, so let's give this a go. P is moving around, moving around. Its distance from P to O, I'm just going to call that P O. That distance should always be the same as the difference between P and A, P, right? Okay, so there you go. This is just me interpreting what this means, right? And just saying it's symbolic, that's all, okay? All right, now I, I conveniently already worked out what this is. It's this guy over here. So I've got this. Okay. What's the distance between P, this XY variable thing, and this coordinate over here, A? Hey. It's going to be very similar, isn't it? It's going to be very similar. It's going to be X minus 4 squared and Y minus 0 all squared. Okay. By the way, you guys have seen me do this before, right? You know what Y minus 0 all squared is going to be. But I'm putting that in so that you can see where I got it from, namely from the distance we got. Okay, I'm going to square both sides here so I don't have to worry about all these square roots. They are both positive numbers, so no problems there. I'm going to get over here x squared plus y squared, just like I got before. What am I getting here? x minus 4 squared plus y squared. This is um, when I expand this, I'm getting x squared minus 8x plus 16 plus the same y squared I have on the other side. You okay with that? Cancel, cancel. Right? What else cancels? The x squared's cancel, cancel. What am I left with? I've got 8x, let's kick him over the other side, equals 16, so that means x equals 2. Now, did you visualize that beforehand? Let's quickly draw this guy, right? Let's quickly draw it. So here is, over there, there's O, right? Right there. Okay, so that's GB, right? And then I've got Leo over here at 1, 2, 3, 4. So I want to be equidistant from each of these, and what did you trace out? You traced out this line, did you not? That's x equals 2. Now this is not just any line, is it? Right? Like it has a special relationship between GV and Leo, right? It's a locus. All of these sets of five, there you go. All these sets of points are all a locus of different kinds, right? They're obeying different geometric rules. This particular locus, you can see how it runs right up the middle, right, right up the middle. Uh, another way you could say this is, and um, there was always, who was the quickest to get in the middle? Who was it? It's always the kid. Oh, what a troll. Okay, so you've got the midpoint there, right? So the locus that P moves through, number one, it bisects this interval between <laughs> Leo and and this is LJ, right? Okay, so the, the interval LJ gets bisected. But not only that, right? Tell me what else you can see about this line. Every single point on it is equidistant. They, they, they should all be equidistant, at least I hope, because I can, um, I can draw all of these points. Like if you're one of these, um, if you're standing up here, right, then I can draw this line and this line, and they'll be equal. And I should be able to draw this line and this line, and they're equal. Oh, so and I can do on and on and on. Oh, that's pretty bad, sorry. <laughs> and on, okay? But here's what's important, right? This line is not just going off at any whichever dire direction it wants to, right? It's at a particular angle. It's vertical because that interval, that LJ interval, is horizontal, right? So you have not just the bisector, you have the perpendicular bisector. Right? The locus of all points equidistant from these two points 
the locus of the point such that it is, is the perpendicular bisector of this interval. Okay? Let's see if we can demonstrate this. I held your hand through this. Try this one now. Okay? I'm going to give you two different points. Okay? Okay? Now I want you to visualize where that is and anticipate what you think the answer might be and then see if you can show the answer is what you expected. Okay? Off you go. You start with this definition of the two distances and they should be equal because the question tells you they're equidistant, right? And what we're working towards is a simplified equation. So you break this guy out, you expand a whole bunch of things. You should have some faith, right? That you're gonna get an x squared out of this and an x squared out of this. So they'll come out in the wash, right? You're gonna get a y squared here, y squared here. You get the idea, okay? Once you come out with this equation, Negative x plus 6. Yep, very good. Negative x plus 6. Okay, now what does that guy look like? It doesn't take long to do a really simple graph. I'm going to go up to 6. There's 6 over there. Something like so, right? Which is what you should expect because have a look at where AB goes, right? Not bad for doing it by hand, right? <laughs> Again, you've got the perpendicular bisector of that interval AB, 